Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to PPTV this beautiful spring morning, April 27th, and beautiful sunrise. We've got Avon Springers running the Hampshire Avon today, and I've just landed my third Avon Springer from Island Run. I'll show you the fish before she goes, and then I'll show you the battle and the um, capture of this beautiful fish. I was using a two-handed salmon rod. It was uh, uh, basically a guideline I got last year. had too much fish on it. Um, I've just um, been talking to a good friend of mine, Larg, who put me on to a Skagit line three weeks ago, and I took out a key salmon with it. And then he introduced me to a new line, which is an Airflow full stay, which is absolutely beautiful. It's silky smooth. It presents the fly lovely in the water. I've dropped down the posh posh to a one inch because it's climbing up the river conditions of dropped about two or three, um, I'd say probably about a foot and a half in the last three weeks. And um, we've got uh, about five foot of visibility. The air temperature must be somewhere around about hmm, 12 degrees and water temperature about 10. So it's all good for the salmon. The salmon's recovered now. I'll show you the fish and then I'll show you the uh, battle and uh, underwater release. fish here yesterday after about a 12 minute battle and uh, it's taken just on the uh, end of the island, that uh, island run on the Hampshire Raven and uh, just going to see what happens here, see if there's another fish lying out this morning and it's a beautiful morning, you can see the early morning rise and mist just starting to burn off and uh, set to be a good day today. Uh, I've got my friend Ian Watford joining me today Hopefully we can put him on a fish and he can take out his first Avon salmon. We've had a, a nice run of salmon this week. We had three yesterday, two fish lost. Um, and there's been one or two starting to show now. So we've got a, a lovely run of Atlantic salmon. I'm just uh, working a full spay line here, just doing a single spay cast, flicking her out on spots and then just let her work through. I've uh, reduced the size of my fly down to a one inch as conditions are fining. And we've got uh, five feet of visibility. We've got, um, on that I've got a um, sink tip, which is uh, 15 feet long. And it's a airflow line, which I bought this week. And uh, it's a lovely line, it's throwing a lovely one the beauty of this uh, um, line is that you don't have to do too much stripping, whereas with a Skagit, there's al also a lot of stripping involved. And so the time spent um, stripping is less time of putting your fly in the water. So the idea is you can fish through the pools more efficiently with this, and it allows for more delicate presentation. So you can just see how that's flopping down. Now we're moving into the taking spot now. So let's see if there's a fish here. <coughs> just going to work this very carefully this bit here and there's a further taking spot further down as well. We've already had one fish from Island Run this year by Barry Williams, the first uh, 18 pound I think it was, so <coughs> it was a beautiful fish. Let's see if there's another big fish lying here. Out we go. Moving closer to the taking spot now. 
So there's a lovely draw on the fly. I'm just tweaking it backwards and forwards just to impart a little bit more action on the fly. I think we're fishing about a foot down, just a foot below the surface. <coughs> and because we've got such good visibility, the salmon will rise on these temperatures and uh, take the fly just below the surface. So it's the nature of the beast. taking spot. I lost a fish here last week. But we've got a fish on here ladies and gentlemen and he's swimming towards us. So fish on. He rose, he's coming in close towards us at speed. Here he comes. Here he is, here he is, he's coming towards us. So fish on. Could be a salmon. At least it surfaced like a salmon, it came up like a salmon. Hopefully, we've got a salmon on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this time, we're playing carefully. Here he goes, here he goes. Oops, he's shaking. He's going under the trees. Ooh! Look at this. A good fish. So, I think it's a salmon. It took the posh posh one inch fly. And uh, I just twigged it and worked the fly just on the edge of the pool and uh, we can't have nailed it so this does feel very very salmony one has to say he's moving upstream so let's see if we can play him up carefully and it looked like there was another silverfish that moved under the bushes as he came up so I think there's several salmon in this pool We're here on Island Run on the Hampshire Haven and this is very very salmony I must admit ladies and gentlemen he's coming straight up Following up the line, walking the dog now. Just keep him with him, putting some pressure on him. We extended the fluorocarbon to six feet. I'm fishing an airflow line. It's a full spay, so it's light in presentation. And, uh, let's hope we can get this fish um, landed this time. So you're playing nice and carefully. He's running upstream. Here he comes. Oh yes. See his tail shaking. It's a salmon, yes it's a salmon. Just saw its back. But now, just playing carefully now. Salmon on ladies and gentlemen. Right. Working his way up. Just gotta watch these boulders here. Let's have a look at him. Is he gonna come up? There he is. Oh it's a beautiful, beautiful salmon. Look, he's right under my nose here. There he goes, there he goes. What a beauty. Here he goes. He's turning, he's turning. Uh, just gonna let him run. He wants to run. He's going, he's going. Yep, he's going. Oh, oh he's come out of the water. There he is. Atlantic salmon. Beautiful. Running to the other side. A lovely, lovely fish. So I saw the spoil. He came up. Let's see if we can keep this fish on. This will be the third for the season. We can land him. So I'm just gonna play him carefully. Take our time. There we go. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Right. Sat just sitting nice and low now, tight in the bank. I'm just gonna keep the rod level up avoid the hooks coming out. Keep the pressure on. If he wants to run, we're going to let him run. Play him nice and carefully. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So nice and gently does it. It's a glorious April morning and uh, wonderful to make contact with the beautiful salmon on a glorious morning here at the Island Run. And uh, he wants to go. He's going. He's turning. There he is. There he is. Right, he's moving upstream now. So we're just going to have to gently play him out. Just gentle pressure. We're fishing 23 pound fluorocarbon. It's a Sagar 
or the lines and uh, hopefully that'll be strong enough for the business here today and uh, just letting him turn now he's just going downstream just can feel a little bit of pressure he wants to go he wants to go there he goes just walking him down now walking him down and we've got some shallows below us so if we can land him we'll release him on the shallows and that was a real gentle bit of tweaking that brought that fish on he followed it cast it onto that side just worked the fly around and uh, as I was tweaking it he came up spoiled and nailed it so it just goes to show that sometimes when you're working the fly take your time on the dangle and uh, if the salmon's followed it you get the chance to come up and nail it and that's what it proved to be so the posh tosh hits another fly <coughs> hits another fish so it's a wonderful fly this one's a one inch um, filing up slightly because of the conditions and then here he is yeah that looks like a double figure there he is that's beautiful he's just got him in this back eddy here he's tucked in tight there he is there's the salmon there he is there he <gasps> beautiful it looks like it's a 12 pound fish beautiful condition excellent condition fresh springer there he is he's shaking shaking the hooks there he is there he is ladies and gentlemen wonderful 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 just keeping his head up now it's a lovely fish ladies and gentlemen I'm pleased, very, very pleased. So we just have to keep his head up now. Just keep him up gently, keep it gentle. He's running again, there he is. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here he goes, he's running along the boulders. He's going down, he's tucked in. <gasps> Oof. Oof. He's gone in amongst the boulders. He's trying to apply pressure. So we're just going to have to try and keep him away from those boulders. Oh, he's tucked in. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, just put a bit of pressure on him. There we go. Ease him out. Ease him out. Here he comes. He wants to come out. There we go. shot in amongst the boulders so he's tucked in just going to apply a little bit of pressure to ease him out ease him out there he goes wow there he goes come on out he comes out he comes he's, he's pulling he's pulling he's trying to go forwards you just hear the line against the boulder here so I've got to be careful we don't snap up here oh ladies and gentlemen this is very delicate fishing. Pressure's still on. Still on. Just trying to ease him gently out. Oh. There we go. Walking the dock. Walking the dock. There we go. Oh, he's out of the snag. That's wonderful. He's out of the snag. Now let's pull him through this way. That was a little bit of a close moment there, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to get him in this back eddy here. He's going again. Still got plenty of fight in him. We plan carefully. There he comes, his head's up. Oof, oof. Very strong fish. There he goes. So we're out of the boulder, which is good. I thought I was going to lose him there. So I'm just going to try and get his head up and then let, let him in a second. As soon as his head's ready. Oof, there he goes. There he goes. Oof. Yep, still wanting to fight. You can see him fighting. Right, let's get the net off in a second. Let's see if he can just raise his head up. Here he comes. Here he comes. Now he's still got power left in him. Plenty of. He's going for another run. Oof. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. He's going downstream. Looking for another boulder. There he is. There he is. Heads up. Now, let's bring him around this way. There he's going, he's going. Oh, let's bring him into the back eddy here. And let's get the net off in a second. Just 
try and get this net off. So it's not easy landing them on your own, but we're going to give it a go. Now, just keep the pressure on, keeping that pressure on. Right, let's get the net ready. So, let's slide it out. Oof. Oh. Oh dear. Looks like the net seized up. <laughs> Not good. Let's try and get this net out. Oh. Out she comes. There we go. Oh. Alright, the net's ready. Oh, I think it's got bent. Somehow it's got bent. So we're just gonna keep them away from these boulders here. That's the danger. Now net's ready. Get the fish's head up. Got a good hook in there at this time. I say last week I lost one at the net here, so I'm going to play this very, very carefully. And let's see whether we can net this fish now. Up he comes. He's going for the boulder. There he is. There he is. His head's up. Still got plenty of fight in him. He wants to go. Just trying to steer him away. Here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful fishing here on the Hampshire Haven. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming. And uh, there he comes. It's a fish of about 12 pounds. It's a lovely, lovely fish. Pristine condition. Fresh run springer. It's come up the Christchurch Harbour. Followed the river up here on the beautiful Summerley Estate on the Hampshire Haven. And there he goes, he wants to go again. Look, he's just surfacing, starting to come now. Starting to come. All right, let's see if we can get his head up now. Oh. Very, very exciting fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Very exciting fishing. It's a beautiful silver bar. Now, here he comes. Here he comes. Up he comes. I'm gonna try and play him into that back eddy. And if we can land him in the back eddy, I'll be very, very pleased. There he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming up. Oof. Oof. Ah, still strong. Still strong. Oh, he's shaking. He's trying to shake the hooks. Uh, just keep him away from the boulders. He's seen us. He's seen us. Oof. He's going. Oh, he's going again. Oof. Just trying to hold on to him. Keep him at the fast flow. Keep him in this back head if we can. Oh. Up he comes. Up he comes. Right. Let's slide him in. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He wants to go. He's shaking. He's shaking. Oh. He's moved into the faster water now. We're going to walk him up. Let's walk him up. Oh. Let's hold him there. Let's hold him there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Walking the dog now. Putting pressure on. He's coming with me, which is good. He's walking himself up. That's lovely. That's lovely. Let's keep him going. Let's keep him going. Off he comes. Walking him up now. Walking him up. Oh, beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. The fight's gone on for over 10 minutes now. So it's a good, good fish. Let's get his head up now. Let's see if we can land him. Let's just get his head up. Up he comes. Right, he's gone on into the middle of the river, so we're taking him back on Eddie here. He's going. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get his head up. Let's get his head up. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Almost ours. Almost ours. Oh, it's a beautiful silver bar. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Oh, not quite there yet. But he. <coughs> not there yet. Oh, it's almost ours. Oh, strength of the current. Oh, he's ours. Fish number three. Beautiful silver bar. 
I'm delighted. And uh, a beautiful fresh springer of about 10 pounds. And we'll just uh, take him into the back eddy here, take the hooks out, and then we'll release him in the shallows. Wonderful fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful springer. So we can release the hooks just here in this little eddy here. That's beautiful. Oh, so, so pleased. Fish of about 10, in pristine condition. And I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. All right, let's get the hooks out and then we'll release him. Oh. All right, four steps. Oh, he's very powerful, very powerful. Just hold him there, hold him there, hold him there. That's lovely, that's lovely. Right, let's just uh, take the hooks out. Beautiful silver bar, hooked him right in the scissors. Now we can get those out. And fibrous hooks, that should come up fine. And you can see where we've taken the hooks. And we'll get those hooks out carefully. Out come the hooks. The fish is now ready to be recovered and we're just walking down to the shallows. That's beautiful. I'm delighted, absolutely over the moon. So the fresh springers are running here on the Hampshire Raven. And he's recovering nicely on that back flow. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really beautiful. He's recovering lovely, so just walking down. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful 12 pound Avon Springer, caught on the fly. Absolutely superb. I'm delighted. But we're going to release her now. And let her get underway, let her recover for a bit longer, and then we'll release her very shortly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fantastic day, 27th of April. Uh, I've taken three beautiful salmon all in the morning. Um, and uh, the first one came quite early. Uh, it's looking at 5.45 a.m. And that would be on island run, fish number 15, on the Tosh Posh, I mean the Tree Posh Posh one inch fly, 11 pounds, fresh cockfish. fish. Then I had one at 6.15 a.m. That was on the tweed posh posh, that's kept the same fly. That was 15 pounds, so that was a fresh hen fish. And then just to end the session, I took out at about 11.45 a.m. on the same rig and same fly. 13 pound turbocharged cock, very acrobatic, and uh, the triple crown, so I'm delighted with that. So, so pleased. Yeah.
hope you enjoyed the footage and it's goodbye from me and goodbye from PG TV. Taking line, he's running. Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen, acrobatic, acrobatic. Wow. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh dear, dear, oh dear. Very powerful fish. Doesn't want to give up. Okay, she's out. Thank you, John. Is that an a seal? It's an otter. It's a big otter.